Hi, I'm Babette from the Netherlands and I was asked to share my experience with breast cancer since of course October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I got my diagnosis just nine months ago in February. Um, I actually never thought that I would get that diagnosis. But I did hear um, after all kinds of research that I had triple negative breast cancer grade three, which is actually pretty aggressive. Um, thank goodness, um, I caught it early in stage one. Um, and I'm still thankful that um, I trusted my instincts. I wasn't actually consciously checking myself. I was just putting on some lotion and I felt that something that felt like a hard round marble. And I thought, mm, that's off, that shouldn't be there. Um, and I didn't think it was cancer, but I did feel like, okay, this is not normal. I have to let that checked out. So I called my doctor. A general practitioner and uh, he actually said the same well it's not it shouldn't be there um, most of the time uh, these things are benign but um, it's good to check it out so that's what I did and only a week after I found the lump uh, it turned out to be breast cancer um, I really didn't think that I would hear that because I never felt as good before uh, I was really fit at the time. I lost a tremendous amount of weight. Um, I didn't feel sick at all. Um, and the weight was actually on purpose, so it wasn't due to cancer. I really didn't feel sick. Uh, I felt really, really healthy uh, since a long time, actually. So it was really um, not something that I expected to hear at 35. Um, it actually doesn't run in my family. And um, the kind of breast cancer I have, usually uh, women have a gene mutation, but I don't have that. So I was just really unlucky. Um, and I think that's the thing with breast cancer and I think with cancer in general, you can get it at any time. Uh, and sometimes you, but your body just makes a mistake and um, it's important to get it early. Um, and the, the remark I think I heard the most and when it comes to stigma around cancer, um, people always say, but you are so young. Well, yeah, cancer doesn't discriminate actually. If you're human, what kind of age, form, doesn't matter, you can get it. And that's a scary thought, but that makes it really, really important to be aware of it and to check yourself, check your levels because uh, you really want to get it early and get treatment so your survival chances are high. My survival chances are actually really high and at the moment, uh, as far as we can judge, I'm clear of cancer because I really had an aggressive form. Um, I'm still doing chemo. I had 16 rounds of chemo before. Um, then I had a single right mastectomy um, and with a temporary reconstruction. Now I'm doing eight more rounds of chemo uh, with tablets and that should take until around mid-February. Then probably in June I will get my reconstruction with my own fat tissue, which is really amazing that they can do that nowadays. Um, and probably there will follow a touch-up. So I still have a long road to go, but I also had already uh, a long road behind me. and. Um, I'm really happy that I'm here at this moment. And um, I think it's really important to share the message that we check ourselves and we trust our instincts and we know our bodies. So please, if you feel something that's off, go to your doctor and um, you can better go 10 times for nothing than one time too late. And um, if you get the same message as me that it turns out you have cancer please know that you are strong and that you can go through this and um, i also want to share that and i really want to take the opportunity to thank everyone uh, around me 
because what I learned is that I have really, really amazing people around me and I meet amazing people because actually Sunny, who asked me to do this, I just met him during my holiday and we turned out to be both dancers and um, now I'm doing this video to share awareness for him. Uh, so I really want to thank you as well, Sunny, for doing this and I want to thank you for watching.